Good day everyone, it's your favorite pastry, and welcome back to Fallout 4, you only live once. Last episode, I got bit by a uh, rad, not a rad stay, or rad roach. Helped the stranger here clear out Concord, and now we're about to uh, storm the Museum of Freedom. And also last time, we got, unironically, one of the best guns in the game. Yeah, that's right, the laser musket. Because when you reload it, you can reload it twice. And there are upgrades so that it allows you to add even more charges to it. Which makes it a one-shot killing machine, which is perfect for this run. So just gonna head on in here. Because there's some stuff I can take. Like boxes of ASAM sensors. ASAM sensors are the things that allow me to build settlement pieces. Specifically sim settlements uh, plots. Which we'll be getting more into later on. But right now I am stealing everything he that's not bolted down that I can use. Ah, pack of duct tape. Just what I needed. Yes. Before we head into the Museum of Freedom, there's a, there are a few things I'd like to collect. Because, as I'm sure most of you know, at the end of Museum of Freedom, we have to fight a Deathclaw. And on survival mode, that Deathclaw is very dangerous. Though probably not as dangerous as a glowing one that randomly decided to spawn in. Yes. Grabbing extra leather pieces, or leather armor pieces, will allow me to break them down back at my settlement. It gives me extra leather, which I can then use to upgrade my current armor set. I am absolutely paranoid that something's going to jump out at me. Three crank for you, and a simple short scope. And we'll give you a long light barrel. And wouldn't you know it, I'm short on adhesive again.
Man, really low on supplies right now. So the destination I have in mind is that scrap yard right over there. And we're going to follow this coast of this little lake because it's the safest route that I can think of. I think there's only a single dog on the way. And a rad stag. And wouldn't you know it, that was enough to push me to level 3. Yeah, if you go along that ridge up there, there is a family of mole rats. And mole rats can bury into the, burrow into the ground and then pop up right exactly where you are. And then on the other side of this, there are a bunch of raiders with a, an attack dog. So I am going to risk it a little bit. Because up here is a cap stash. And having extra caps is never a bad a bad thing. And a guaranteed 44 caliber revolver. My end build may see me using a revolver. Ah, finally. Remember to grab some dirty water. usually does patrol all the way down to this tree line here but it looks like we got lucky for once okay and then up this up here is a small raider encampment the raider's not there until he, uh oh what's detecting me Hesper? Who is Hesper? This isn't part of the plan. Fancy meeting you out here. Heard you're new to the area, or old to it, I guess. <laughs> All this must look so different to you. Bet the fishing used to be something else, though. Bet the water didn't glow so much either. The water? figure of speech. If you see water that actually glows, you better chug some rat away. I'll be on my way. Good fishing in these parts, if you know where to look. I'm pretty sure she is from Salmon Settlements. Did they add a fishing minigame? They totally added a fishing minigame. And I don't like that she's so close. Because when your brackets moves, it means that you're being or you're about to be detected. Okay, this still looks pretty clear as usual. Yes, there's a sentry bot here. But he's inactive at the moment. Which is good. Because I don't want to fight a sentry bot. And here we go. One fat man. And there's also a family of mole rats. But they don't activate until you activate the sentry bot. 
so we should be safe for the time being. And one mini nuke. Be good. No one's in here. And hot rodder. Ooh, more duct tape. Always need more duct tape. Remember, folks, if your partner doesn't find you good looking, they can at least find you handy. And duct tape is the secret to becoming handy. And we'll just go back. Oh, uh, let's not go this way. There are Myrlex eggs there, which means there's going to be a Myrlex poppy note. And I do not want to fight a Myrlex right now. I'm glad I noticed that at the last second. And wouldn't you know it, the trip back to Concord was completely uneventful. My favorite phrase for this challenge run. But before we head in there, I'm going to spend that one perk point. On sneak. Make myself a little bit harder to be detected. And just going to grab some food. And water. Oh boy, I am very nervous for this right now. Oh, wish me luck. Sneak, sneak. Somehow made it through that without being detected. Needs the silencer when you just one shot everything. I swear, pressing Garvey is absolutely useless indoors. He's gonna miss every single one of his shots. And I mean every single one of them. Oh gosh. Ah, oh, 308 rounds. Finally. I am very sleepy. Now, I think it's just this raider up here. Wait, why is he facing me? Oh, I know Can I? Here. Oh. Make sure I have my frag grenades set. I don't want to accidentally throw a Molotov at this close range. That will be very disastrous. Only panic slightly. Yes, I need to get my critical meter up a little bit.
Ooh, axe of leather. A duplicate. I'm just gonna get rid of my grenades from the hockey bar. I'm risking it. I think the other guy has a melee weapon. Uh, sure. Oh. Oh. What's my carry Kate? Crusty life. Okay, it's getting pretty up there. Going to ignore Preston, as you should. Oh, that magazine is now part of the desk. Your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Ah, damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. I see my prize. I see we're in a bit of a mess here. And grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Okay, skipped over that dialogue. The plan is... Careful, kid. There's bingo. I'm gonna grab that perception bottle head, bobble head. Because now that unlocks extra, or allows me to unlock the perk that gives me bonus damage for explosives, like my grenades. Okay, so their plan is I go on the roof, grab some power armor, grab the minigun, and mow down dozens of raiders. But as soon as I step onto the roof, there's a sniper that instant detects you, even when you're hit, still considered hidden. And he's going to get a shot off, most likely. And I don't want to do that, because that means I might get hit. So instead, I'm just going to walk out to the front door. And sprint to the left, and then run down the alleyway. Because I'm going to go and try and trigger the death claw early. Then I'll run back to the Museum of Freedom, and let the two parties duke it out until one of them... Only one party is left. But it requires me to run really fast as soon as I load in. Hmm. Is this a good idea? Because the stranger is right out there, and they're going to target him. And when they target him, they might target me. Oh, I'm just going to risk it. Up here. We got what? We got somebody up here. They still haven't fully detected me. I am in caution. And now we run. Run, 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 run. Okay, it looks like the mini nuke is already loaded, which is great.
Definitely don't want to hide behind the car. Okay, three shots. Jake, I greatly appreciate if you stayed behind me. This is not going to according to plan. And I can't use that pun because I used it two episodes ago. This day is just the worst. Not like this extra bit of damage protection will help me against the Death Claw. Excuse me. It's annoying that I can see the death claw on my marker, on my compass, but I don't have visual confirmation. I think I know where the Death Claw is. And it's very annoying that I know exactly. Oh, there he is. Ah. There was Gristle. Let's see if we can get a shot from here. The Death Claw is going to be on the other side of this building. Well, that's just great. Absolutely great game. Thank you very much.
Hmm. How do I want to do this? I should have just taken the shot when I had one way back then. Okay, but no, seriously, where is the death claw? Because logically, I should be staring right at it right now. Wait. Did the Death Claw get itself glitched inside of a building? The Death Claw got itself glitched inside of a building. Thanks, game. No, really, thank you. What happens if I throw a Molotov? goes nothing. Please get close. Oh. Oh, my heart. My heart. That was I mean you just took down a death claw. <laughs> Color me impressed. All the sound from our firefight must have lured the blast thing out. What about them folks, the raiders trapped inside the museum? Did you manage to help them? Everything's taken care of. Well, all right. Nice to see a happy ending. You did good. You know that, right? I'm just glad we were able to save their lives. All right. You held up your side of the bargain. The raiders have been dealt with. Now it's my turn to deliver. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll get you your ace, Sams. Oh, my heart. <laughs> As John would say, I need a cup of tea after this. And oh boy, do I ever need a cup of tea. If you use the power armor and minigun, you'll actually comment on how did you get a, your a hand a, a hold of the power armor and minigun. I don't know why I walked back with them, because I need to go in here. Okay, in case I skipped that conversation, Preston Garvey is now heading to Sanctuary with his gang. And we're going to be doing a few of his quests when we get there. Can we trade a few things? If you'd just like to follow me, 
We'll get you your oh god, do I have to follow you again? Welcome to my workshop. Or at least what's left the raiders in Smash. Nice place you got. Despite the mess they made, it doesn't look like they took anything important. Most of my equipment is still here. Including your award. Here. One whole box of ASAMs to do with as you see fit. You earned them. But here's a little extra for helping those folks inside the museum. Sure. Happy to help. That's not all. Oh, stranger, I already stole all of your boxes. I'll show you more things you could build with ASAM sensors. I'll meet you back at your settlement. Oh, I was hoping that the duct tape would have also respawned, since I noticed that these guys respond. And all the boxes of ASAMs that I took also respond. Good. Alright, we'll head to Red Rocket, dump some stuff, have a nap, and call it a part there. Okay, that looks like that car has already exploded. There's a welcoming face, dog meat. I miss dog meat. He's such a good boy. Gonna do some light scrapping. Can't believe I didn't take that cap stash. Make myself a bed. And put away one fat man. And we'll get rid of the snub nose 44. And the fusion core, because I'm not gonna need it. Go around back here, hook up some delicious, delicious death claw meat. One death claw steak. Oh yeah, this healing tab here is specific for Sim Settlements 2. Because in Sim Settlements 2, diseases can break out at your settlements. And that's one of the cure one of the ways you can cure it. There are other ways because spoiler alert, one of the pull-up types is a doctor's office. And that helps greatly. And I think after killing that Deathclaw, I deserve a Deathclaw steak. Alright. Yeah, get my character over here. I'm not used to third person camera in this game. Oh, thanks again for joining me on my playthrough through Fallout 4. You only live once. That was quite a wild ride this episode. As always, I'm rooting for you. We're all in this together.